landmarks of facial nerve now this is a very important topic uh, because uh, during parotid surgeries and middle ear and mastoid surgeries we need to have pointers which will point towards the facial nerve identification during the surgery so that we can avoid any injury to it so let us look at all these landmarks so first uh, for middle ear and mastoid surgeries we have some facial nerve pointers let's start with the first one the first one is the processus cochlearyformis this is actually the most consistent landmark of all this is because it does not get degraded by cholesteatoma it is very very resistant to cholesteatoma uh, and therefore uh, therefore this is the most uh, constant landmark in identifying the facial nerve so the process is cochlearyformis it demarcates the geniculate ganglion which lies just anterior to it you can see in the picture this here is a process of cochlearyformis and this is the geniculate ganglion which you see just lies anterior to it and this is the level at which the tympanic segment of the nerve is starting at this level second our second uh, landmark is the oval window so oval window as you can see the facial nerve runs above the oval window third landmark is the short process of the incus now the uh, short, uh, the facial nerve it lies medial to the short process of incus at the level of aridus the axis of the uh, facial nerve corresponds to the axis of the short process of the incus the fourth landmark is the pyramid the nerve as you can see in the picture here it runs behind the pyramid this is the pyramid here and you can see how the nerve runs behind the pyramid and the posterior tympanic sulcus the fifth landmark is the tympanomastoid suture in the vertical segment or the mastoid segment the nerve runs behind this suture next is the digastric ridge the nerve leaves the mastoid at the anterior end of the digastric ridge so this digastric ridge is actually the inferior landmark for the mastoid segment of the facial nerve next is the lateral semicircular canal lateral semicircular canal the to this uh, lateral semicircular canal the facial nerve runs anterior inferior to it you can see this is the lateral semicircular canal and this is the facial nerve you can see how it runs anterior inferior to it and posterior semicircular canal to which this is a posterior semicircular canal and you can see how the nerve runs 2.5 mm anterior to the posterior semicircular canal so now if we had to summarize the most important landmarks for identifying the facial nerve in the mastoid cavity would be firstly the lateral semicircular canal the short process of the incus and the digastric ridge which is the inferior most landmark so the nerve is best identifying by imagining a line which begins just anterior to the inferior portion of the lateral semicircular canal and travels in an inferior direction towards the digastric ridge these are all the pointers for facial nerve during mastoid surgeries or middle ear surgeries next we come on to parotid surgery in parotid surgery the first pointer is a cartilaginous pointer now what is a cartilaginous pointer it is a sharp triangular piece of cartilage of the pinna which points to the nerve the main trunk of the facial nerve basically lies 1 cm medial and inferior to the tragal pointer you can see in the picture over here this is the tragal pointer and how the the nerve lies 1 cm medial and inferior to the tragal pointer second is a tympanomastoid suture line you can see over here how the trunk can be identified 6 to 8 mm deep to the tympanomastoid suture line third is the styloid process the styloid process now the nerve uh, it travels lateral to the styloid process you can see the picture above here this is the styloid process now you can see the trunk of the facial nerve traveling lateral to the styloid process and the fourth pointer is the posterior belly of digastric Now if you were to trace the posterior belly of digastric backwards along its upper border to its attachment to the digastric groove 
in the picture over here, this is the posterior belly of digastric and you can see its attachment to the mastoid process. You will see that nerve is found to lie between the digastric muscle and the styloid process and the main trunk bisects this angle between the upper border of the muscle and the external acoustic meatus as you can see over here. So these are all the landmarks of the facial nerve during parotid surgery. You can see over here, this here is the tragal pointer, this is for the posterior belly of digastric, this uh, right here is the tympanomastoid suture line, how it lies 6 to 8 mm deep. This is the styloid process, you can see how the nerve is traveling lateral to the base of the styloid process. This you can see is the cartilaginous pointer again and this is the digastric tip. So this is all about the facial nerve pointers.